Welcome back to another episode of Echoes of the Horn, today, we dive deep into the expansion of Italian influence and the Treaty of Wachel, a narrative that intertwines ambition, diplomacy, and the indomitable will of a nation. As Italy reaches out to cast its shadow over the Horn of Africa, a treaty meant to foster peace becomes a harbinger of conflict, revealing the complexities of colonial encounters, join us. As we unravel the layers of intentions, misunderstandings, and the fierce assertion of sovereignty that characterizes this tumultuous chapter in history. In the wake of Italy's acquisition of the Bay of Assab, the azure waters of ambition stirred, seeking to solidify a presence that would stretch beyond mere territories, the Treaty of Wachel, a seemingly harmonious pact emerged as the canvas where Italy's aspiration and Ethiopia's sovereignty collided. At the heart of this narrative is Article 17, a clause that became the fulcrum of a monumental misunderstanding, the Italian version of the treaty sought to weave Ethiopia into a web of dependency, effectively reducing it to a protectorate, a mere shadow under Italy's expansive wing yet. The Amaric rendition sang a different tune, one of choice and autonomy, preserving the proud sovereignty of Emperor Menelik II's Ethiopia. The discrepancy between these two versions was not a mere oversight. It was a chasm that threatened the very essence of Ethiopia's independence. Emperor Menelik II, a sentinel of sovereignty, recognized the looming shadow of subjugation and took a stand, that would echo through the annals of history. The rejection of Italy's interpretation was not merely a diplomatic rebuff. It was a declaration that Ethiopia would not yield to the yoke of colonial ambition. As tensions simmered, the stage was set for the historic Battle of Adwa, a clash that transcended the mere clashing of arms. It was a testament to the resilience of a nation unwilling to have its destiny dictated by foreign powers. The victory at Adwa was not just a military triumph, it was a beacon of hope, illuminating the path for nations, yearning to break free from the chains of colonialism. In the aftermath, the Treaty of Odis Ababa in 1896 emerged as a testament to Ethiopia's unyielding spirit. It was an affirmation of sovereignty, a declaration that the echoes of Ethiopia's resolve would resonate far beyond its borders reshaping the narrative of power and resistance in Africa. As we navigate through the intricate dance of language, intention, and resistance, we are reminded that the fabric of history is woven with the threads of human will, determination, and the relentless pursuit of self-determination. The Treaty of Wachel and the events that unfolded in its wake are not just footnotes in history. They are powerful reminders of the enduring spirit of nations and the complexities that define our shared past. As we conclude this chapter of Echoes of the Horn, we thank you, our dear listeners, for joining us on this captivating journey through the expansion of Italian influence and the Treaty of Wachel. Your presence enriches the tapestry of our shared exploration into the depths of history. The saga continues with more chapters waiting to be unveiled, more insights to be discovered, and more echoes from the past to guide our understanding. Follow us on platforms like Apple Podcast, Spotify, Audible, and more. And for those who seek a deeper understanding, our substack at www.samal.substack.com offers exclusive content. Until we meet again, keep the flame of curiosity burning and let the echoes of history resonate in your journey.